so I know I haven't done a video in quite a while so I decided to jump back in not with a haul because that's really easy so I'm gonna do a current favorites I used to do these and then I kind of just got into this rut of using the same products over and over again so I was like why am I doing monthly favorites so I'm going to start these up again but not monthly I'm gonna do them seasonally so these are basically my summer favorites so I'm just gonna get into it and the first thing is this which is a solid shampoo from Lush and it is called Scenic. I really like the way it smells and it basically just works like a normal shampoo but this particular one is really moisturizing and I don't even have to use a conditioner after I use this and it also still gives me quite a bit of volume so yeah I really like that. Um, the next thing is kind of like a duo and it is my Clarisonic Mia. This is the Mia like one not Mia 2. I don't think it's actually called the Mia 1, it's just called the Mia, because at the time it was the only one. <laughs> um, I have this one, which is in the kind of minty green color. And then I have this, which is the Aqua Moist Ju uh, Moisturizing Washing Foam from Juju. And basically I use these together every night. This is just a very gentle cleanser, it foams up really well. And there's no scent, no color, it's just white. So these work really well every single night. Continuing on with skin, besides like now when I'm filming or like when I'm going out to like, you know, a nice dinner or something with my friends where I know there's going to be lots of pictures, um, I have just been using sunscreen, concealer, and like face powder. So the sunscreen I've been using is Skin Food Peach Sake Sun Lotion. And you kind of just shake it up and it's very liquidy. And if I show you guys really quickly, it's not like a sunscreen that you think of usually because it's not like creamy. It's very as I said, liquidy. So that's that. And then you just rub it in and it's basically like only a little bit thicker than water. So my best friend Wendy only uses sunscreen on her face and her skin is flawless so I'm trying to get on her level. I don't even know why I showed you guys that because it's clear sunscreen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then afterwards I use two concealers. I use my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil, uh, concealer pencil in NSA. I'm NC 30 to 35 in MAC, I think. So it's just like a fat pencil, and I use it around my nose where I get red a lot, and on any blemish that I may have. And then under my eyes, I use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer Slash Corrector in Medium. I wouldn't say this covers that well, but my under eye circles aren't that bad, so yeah. If you have like substantial under eye circles, I think you'll hate this product. Which a lot of people actually do on Makeup Alley, but I love it. Um, so those two. And then as for the face powder that I've been using to set everything, I've been using this, which is the Color Combos Ultra Smooth Two-Way Cake in 02 Beige. And it's like a Korean product, I believe. It's just a face powder. And I got it on Sasa, I think about $10. But it provides really good coverage and oil control. And the packaging is really fun because like the mirror spins and does all sorts of wonky stuff. And it has this little compartment where you push it. And there was a makeup sponge, but I don't use it, so I took it out to do nail art. <laughs> um, to put it on, I use my Elf Kabuki face brush. So that's that. So that's basically my face. And I still fill in my brows because my brows are very, very sparse, unfortunately. So I've been loving using Sexpresso from Too Faced. This just happens to be in a palette, but you can get it in a duo or by itself, I believe. Um, so it's just a very dark matte brown, which I think is a great color if you have dark hair like me. And to put it on, I know a lot of people use angled brushes, but I just use my Eco Tools like flat shader brush and use the edge of it. Um, for eyeliner, I've been loving this combo. Uh, they're both Physicians Formula, which was not on purpose at all. And the first one I have is like a twisty up black eyeliner, like you know, the pencil eyeliner, but you just twist it up. So first I use this and I just draw a line because, you know, this is much easier to control and just make a thick line. Not thick, but you know, thicker than a liquid eyeliner would make. And then I use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster in black or ultra black. I have two. Uh, the ultra black is like basically a shiny black, like a glossy finish, and then this one dries pretty matte. So this one has a brush tip like this, it's very thin, and I just use that and go right along the lash line because then, um, oof, my bangs are 
not a good hair day. Um, right along the lash lines, fill in the gaps and draw the wing at this edge. Um, staying on eyes, I guess, my uh, mascara favorite has been L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And if you can tell by the states of the ink on here, I've used it up quite, I mean, I've put it through a lot of wear, I guess. I've had this for about five months, which means I almost have to get rid of it. So the brush is just a very thick, like, bristle brush, not a plasticky one. And it makes my lashes super, like, defined, volumized, amazing, blah, blah. I love this. <laughs> um, and then my second to last thing is a makeup setting spray. And this is the Victoria's Secret Face Prime Makeup Primer and Setting Spray. So you spray it on before you start your makeup, do all your makeup, and then spray it again. And it's just like the Urban Decay or Scandinavia one, but it's 4 ounces and $12, which means it's much cheaper than theirs, I believe. Um, definitely cheaper than the Urban Decay one, because I had the little mini of the Urban Decay, and that one was like, I think, $11. Nowhere as close as this. And I've had this for 6 months, and I've used that much. So, half a year probably get another year out of this, maybe like another couple months. Unfortunately, I can't find this anymore, so did Victoria's Secret discontinue this? Or, I don't know. And then the last thing is a perfume, and it is Vera Wang Princess. I know everyone has already like, this is like a very common fragrance, but I finally got a rollerball of it. And I really like it. It's like sweet with a little bit of like tang, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm sure you guys, most of you guys have smelled this. If not, go into Sephora and smell it because you may like it. So yeah, that is everything. So those are my summer favorites. Uh, if you have your favorites, list them down below or leave a video response. Or if you have a question on anything, just leave it down below. As always, my Twitter, Instagram, beauty blog, which I kind of use for beauty and food, and my blah, 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 my Tumblr, which I use for more personal stuff, is all linked down below. And I just wanted to let you guys know that starting around mid-September, September 11th or so through September 24th, basically two weeks, I'm going to be vlogging pretty much every day because Andrew is coming here for a week in California and then we're going to have a lot of shopping and fun stuff to do, like adopting a kitten, getting furniture, building furniture, etc. for the apartment when I come back before school. So that's going to be a very videoed, <laughs> uh, lots of videos will be going up at that time. That was weird. But then after that I start sophomore year, which does not look fun because I just registered for my classes. And yeah, so yeah, I don't know how to end this video. Alright, bye guys.